Turkish Aerospace Industries plans to fly the fifth-generation fighter jet Khan on December 27, five years ahead of schedule. Turkish Aerospace Industries General Manager Temel Kotal confirmed this as Khan fighter was originally scheduled to fly with a Turkish engine in 2028, but the process ended faster than they expected. Previously known as the TFX, the Khan jet has been created with an aim to replace the F-16 aircraft in the inventory of the Air Force's command, which is planned to be phased out starting in the 2030s. The project was launched in 2016. The first Khan jet left the hangar in March 2023. Three prototypes will be produced before 2026. The Block 10 configuration, which will be delivered to the Air Force Command, is expected to be developed until 2029. Ten TFX Block 1 fighter jets produced in Phase 2 will be delivered to the Turkish Air Force between 2030 to 2033. However, this date announced by the Turkish Air Force was revised as 2028 by Turkish Aerospace Industries. The 21-meter Khan aircraft can reach a maximum speed of Mach 1.8 thanks to its twin engines, which can produce 29,000 pounds thrust each. Khan will provide the opportunity to strategically attack air-to-air -air and air-to-ground targets. It has a completely domestic infrastructure for secure data sharing and the use of smart munitions. With its high-performance radar, electronic warfare, electro-optics, communication, navigation and identification capability, it will achieve increased combat power with precision and accurate firing from internal weapon slots at high supersonic speed. It also has automatic target recognition and detection, multiple data fusion and artificial intelligence capabilities. The project helped Turkey advance in technology areas such as low visibility, internal weapon slots, high maneuverability, increased situational awareness and sensor fusion, all features that are required for a new generation aircraft. The TFX program is seen as an important part of Turkey's efforts to develop its own defense industry and reduce its dependence on foreign weapons systems. The successful development and deployment of the TFX would also give Turkey a significant strategic advantage in the region. It is unlikely Pakistan will significantly contribute to the creation of TAI Khan itself. Pakistan has an opportunity to avail and can locally assemble the fighter from a completely knockdown kit once the development phase is done, which is probably in 2030. The innovative approach will leverage Pakistan to assemble its fighter jet while benefiting from Turkey's expertise in manufacturing and designing the advanced fighter. Last year, Turkish Aerospace Industries signed a contract with Pakistan National Engineering and Science Commission to create military drones. Erdogan, president of Turkey, stated, Turkey is now in every field, on land, in sea, and submarine, air and space. In addition, he also called it the century of the future, Khan boasts all technologies and features found in fifth-generation warplanes. It is capable enough to attack air-to-air -air and air-to-ground targets strategically.